Chimano. Yes, my love. You know, I want to ask you, what was the inspiration behind Freedom and why does it sound so classic and timeless? <laughs> Sorry, something just happened in the studio the night died. You ruined the moment. <laughs> Okay, seriousness now. Um, so freedom, freedom was um, so freedom. So um, let me just say lyrics. So when I go, go, go away, I know you're scared because I know you never needed me any. Oh wait, no, no, no! My God, look at me forgetting my own lyrics. When I go, go, go away. I know you're scared because you know I never needed you anyway. You'll notice when I go, go, go away. That you should have loved me. Maybe I should have loved you. So, um, so freedom, just that, and before getting into the intricacies of the songwriting and all of that, Freedom just uh, stemmed from a moment of um, yeah when I when when I actually received my first dose of uh, trending and like being abused and like being insulted online, that was that was quite eventful. Now that I look back, it was quite wonderful. You know, but because I guess uh, because I guess I I feel differently towards it right now. But um, it was just that moment. I was just like um. Jesus, like I'm here. I am. I'm just. I'm just trying to be. I, like I think I'm a nice guy. Like I think. Yeah, I think I'm. I think. I think I'm okay. I haven't hurt anyone. Blah blah blah. So it was just. So some events that happened that made that. Um, that made that situation happen. So I was. Yeah, I was pretty much. I was very. I was very very sad. In that moment, I was actually really, really sad. I think it was, it was one of those moments in my life. I was just like, "Wow, people can really have so much vitriol towards you," and just like, and you just like, you realize like, "Wow." Sorry, <laughs> it, it's just at that moment you realize like, "Wow, it's it's so it's so easy for 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 other people to find whatever they consider a fault, or for people to find fault." Or for people to just say whatever it is that they feel like they know that they think is a fact. And um and also in that moment you realize like, oh my God. Um maybe I, I've been looking at the really good side of human beings thus far. You know? I've always been on the good side of of whatever history that is. Um so freedom freedom is just it's just freedom, me freeing myself or uh out of those or out of that because do you know what at the end of it all and it, that descended into now me me making it my purpose in life at that point to like come for everyone and to respond to everything that is not to my liking and then it reduced me to reduced me to just making making that valid reducing me to you know there's so much positivity and everything you, but then there's only one thing when you reduce yourself to that that will that will reduce you to that as well yeah. because you end up saying unsavory things you end up being someone that you didn't know that you could be you bring something out in you that you like you don't know that you had it in you yeah. and that's what it made me become you know, like I sat and I was replying to every single one, and I was I was showing them that I could insult you, and like I am I'm a better insulter. <laughs> like I could I could abuse you better. So you got mm. low to their level. Yeah, I got I really did go low. I really did go low. I went low. Do you regret mm. that? No. Okay. No, I do not. I do. I do not. But. But then I'm not that. Okay. I'm not that. I I don't regret it because in that moment I would say it it made me f- it made me feel good because it was in the situation where I was where I felt like I needed to to 
to prove, to prove it to people and to myself that I'm just not a walkover. Just because you feel like you could insult me and then you feel like I could I could let it go. But then also now I'm in a space whereby I'm just like, mm, also, like, no. Like, this is someone I've never met. This is someone who has never challenged me, like, face to face. Somebody who doesn't know you. Someone who doesn't, doesn't know, know me. Life. You know, like, yeah. if, you know, if it's just one of those things whereby I think you, you get out of the shock of it being someone, something that is in your face in that in that moment metaphorically not physically and then you just you just get out of it and you're just like guy i'm actually spending my time answering someone who probably has no profile photo who has maybe 12 followers no offense you it's okay <laughs> but but it's just one of those things it's for me like yeah it's just i know where i want to go and i know what i need to do yeah. so chimano just just stop just ignore and someone also at some point told me um um don't you feel it like it's 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 offensive and a bit like annoying that you forget and not concentrate on the people who have shown you so much love people who actually are who have been there for you who people tell you who people who love you mm. you do you ever go back to them and tell them this in that way mm. You know, and I realized, like, oh, you know, like you just look at that, and you, and also even people in my life who, who validate me, not because that he, yeah, not because like at he I'm faulty or anything. It's just people who love me. Yeah. Yeah. So you forget that. Yeah. And you totally concentrate on like people telling you such nonsense. That's what really affects you. So this person was just saying it's a bit of an offense. Don't. Don't don't insult you and don't insult those people who love you. Focus on that. Yeah. Tell them you love them back. Yeah. Find Just them. Spread love. Hang out with them more. Yeah. Do that. Mm. Yeah. And I was just like, actually, you're quite right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's uh, let's go back because we're 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 coming mm. to the you know we're coming close to the end of of this conversation. And Are because, we though? Yeah, because you know I need to ask uh. about. How long mm. it took you? We've we've gone through the lyrics. Mm. We have gone through your creative process. How long did it take you to work or put together "Heavy Is the Crown"? Because I, I you know, I'm, mm. I've got my invisible. Yeah, you got, I, you I got, you, yeah, you got your, yeah, you got your crown, babe. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That one. <laughs> fix it, fix it, fix mm -hmm. it. It's fixed. Mm -hmm. Come on, how somebody. Long, <laughs> how long did it take? Um. I will say it took my whole life. Okay. Yeah, it really did. But um, it took my whole, or rather it took my, it took a lot of my adult life to, when, or rather when I came to, when I'm actually like, okay, this is who I am. And I had my own um, um, hangups and issues before that. Um, but lyrically and artistically, yeah, it's, I have had all of this in in the last four or five years, and I still have more in there. Literally, all my vo every phone that I have, I transfer all my voice notes. I, yeah, I I write a journal. Yeah. So, if you ever want to know about a Chimano story, please steal my journal. <laughs> no, we're, we're not. We're not even going to put that energy out there. That's not going to happen. Where? Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. yeah please do not. Task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To make a um it 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 took me quite a while because it it started from my ideas and putting it on record yeah um then eventually it just happened at the right time and i will say my producer is so we're such an unlikely couple if i can call it that um D, uh, dtx he's um he's uh he's a hip hop producer really and he, he, brought he a has lot of done. To this, to this he EP brought like he he's he's done that, he's yeah. done a couple of like Mad Tracks hits and like he's yeah. he's one of those who you would never picture Chimano and him together <laughs> in a studio. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. So then I think it was at this one point. So now just bringing it in context of how heavy is the crown, the sound of it all, how it came together because I I love I love eighties pop synth music. That that does me in from Queen, 
Prince is like my ultimate. Um, um, uh, guy, I have forgotten. It's fine. We'll get back to that. Um, when I when I think about that, because the eighties, that was a time of like, of like, it was like a beginning of like it was just freedom. It was just a freedom of being. It was a freedom of there was um experimentation, quote unquote. Uh, um, it was an amazing time to be a rock star, to be a pop star, where. Uh, and, and, and not to be misquoted like just kind of like anything anything went you know anything goes yeah you know the the bands that you had like it was such a good time yeah. to be an artist um and just the music that that was there so that's why my ep sounds very 80s pop synth because yeah. it gives me it, it for some reason that vibe really 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 resonated with me up until now which is why it sounds the way it is. And there was even a time like African African pop music in the early 90s from Brenda Farsi, even to um, um, Ah Gold, oh, 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 what's her? Ah, uh, Anjali Kijo. Anjali Kijo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Anjali Kijo. There was a time that she had that that pop synth, but then it was early 90s. That, that, that did something to me and I can't even explain it. So with DTX, my producer, um, he was in studio at one point and he was meeting with like, you know, Savar and blah, blah, blah. Then Savar and Bien. Then I was, listening, I was listening to some of his beats and then I was just saying, oh, okay. Because they had told me, you, maybe you need to work with him. Then I was just like, mm. then I was listening. Then I was just like, okay, let's have a studio session then. Then um, I sent him my voice notes. Sent me, he sent me the demos. And I was just like, in, done, Lego. And that has created one of the greatest um, producer-artist relationships that people are yet to know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Heavy is the Crown, that's what it is right now, and that's where it's gotten to. And yeah, it has exceeded my expectations. Is there part mm. two? I was going to mm. say that. I think you've just gone ahead of me. Because mm. I, when I, when I, each time I got done listening to it, I was like, yeah. okay, then... And then what's coming um, up next? So is there a part two? Do you are you thinking of part two? Is it something that you would like to do even? Hmm. I don't know. I think I think I think a part two is is a next chapter. Okay. Um there's so there's there's so much there's so much emotion it just in within these seven songs mm. because they literally holistically divine a uh, 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 divine where well, come on somebody <laughs> yes okay <laughs> well well <laughs> so divine where it is where it is that i was so the it's it's literally such a, a certain period. So the yes, there is, there is a next chapter. But then the next chapter is the Chimano that is after Heavy is the Crown. Okay. Not really like a Heavy is the Crown because mm-hmm. after this, um, when when y'all internalize this and like you know understand where it is that where we're going, yeah. Not even just me. Mm-hmm. Understand the ethos of it all. You know what? Like y'all have the crown already. <laughs> Now let's 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 just let's let's just um, nah, I'ma say let's just twerk and get ratchet now because <laughs> oh, we're about, oh, it's about to be like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chimano, allow me to circle back a little yeah, bit. Um, yeah, yeah. You say that um, you know you talk like I said earlier on. You gave us a glimpse of what it is to be on stage and to go on stage and now you're you're on tour you're about to go on tour this was recorded just before he went on tour and so you're on, you're going yeah. on tour after two years mm. um because initially when you're supposed to go on tour covid happened to the world it shut down yeah and in that time we have gotten such beautiful offerings from you as a collective as and, as and individuals, individuals yeah with the alone together projects mm. what are some of the emotions that you're going through even as you prepare and are on tour. Uh, the emotions are confusing. Yeah. Um, when we were supposed to go on tour the first time, which was in uh, 2020, just the year after we'd done a midnight train, um, you know, it was 
Midnight Train was um, that was after we got we got signed to Universal uh, twenty all of twenty nineteen. We took a break. We just say like, okay, we're gonna be that band. We take a break and then yeah, then we we're gonna come back with a bang. Then Corona was just like hold my BSC. So just say no 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 no. Shika 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 shika. <laughs> Let me show you my best dance move. So um. So 2020 um, then happened. We released the album. We were supposed to like go on tour. Like it was a massive tour. This this tour that we were going to that we're going to, or rather that we're should I say that we're in going to. You know. So this tour that we're on right now, um, um, yeah, it's it's the tour that we were supposed to be um, in in 2020, but then yes, that didn't happen. But then I will say everything happens for a reason because then in that moment we then decided to look inwards. And we decided to, okay, um, okay, we'll, we'll promote Midnight Train and still do that. But let's also just, yeah, who are you? Who are you as an individual? Because there was still the concept of, and which is now going to happen, of what will the next Saudi Soul album, what is the next Saudi Soul album going to look like, right? And it's one of those things whereby as Chimano, as BN, as Savara, as Polycup, it's about like you finding yourself as an artist. Yeah. Such that when we're doing our next album, yeah. it won't be like until now Sati Soul has another album. It's going to be that album where you're just like you feel each of us to the core. Yeah. Which is why when we thought Midnight Train is going to be our greatest album, actually no. Scratch that. Scratch that. And some things happen which which tell you the universe just has a way of just like telling you like Please, um, my God, this phone is amazing. This bag is amazing, but please, amazing. It's make way, you yeah. know. So, yeah. Um, so going on tour now, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, rather, it is being being on tour now is amazing. Um, and it it it, I don't know. We totally have a different perspective of just being on tour. We're on a tour bus. Um, <laughs> we're on a tour bus. Literally, we we're sleeping in cubicles. Um, we all have the same washroom in the dumb bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no private. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This this bus is like a ten sleeper, so it's a big bus. Yeah. So imagine that. So it's just it's it's one of those things where you look back and you're just like, this is always what we wanted to do, but then there's so many processes and there's so many things in within this life that literally humble you in so many moments in in and within those moments you've achieved so much but then life just like he's just like okay no not yet not yet so i am so yeah i'm so glad even for me to be able to have experienced chimano as heavy as a crown it has made me such it has brought me into myself wow. totally totally i love that, <laughs> I love that. um chimano yes. where do you see and this is the second last question. Where do you, where else do you see your music taking you? I think, I think Chimano will, as I keep, um, as I keep being the artist that is Chimano and um, also understanding who my fan base is, Chimano will keep, no, uh, how, how do I say this? I'm trying. I'm trying because I was going to say like Chimano will keep reinventing himself, but then Chimano will will grow because this is the first time that I'm even just building, you know, building a fan base and even understanding who's my fan or who who is someone who listens to Chimano. So Chimano is Chimano will keep now. Chimano just wants to learn who am I like who am I singing to? Mm. You know, I can sit here and say that my music should be palatable to everybody but then knowing who Chimano is we 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 do know no but then knowing who Chimano is dun, 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 dun. anyway so um so, so knowing who Chimano is it's um Chimano is in a space whereby he's literally just understanding who he is and as, as an artist i do know who i am as myself but then who are the people who listen to me? So I will keep, I'll keep, honestly, I can't even say who, where my music will be or go to. I'm just going to understand who my, who I'm, who I'm playing to, who I'm singing for. I am singing for 
I have sang for myself, but then also to an extent, um, I also want to know who Chiman like Chimandems. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you want? So we can tell you. Yeah, what do you want? You know, like, yeah. what do you want? When you look at your like, once this, you know, whereas, or rather, when you're listening to this EP, what do you, like, what do you want? Yeah. As a Chimandi, what do you want? You know, I want, let's work together because I am ready to give it. So help me reinvent me. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's the consciousness yeah. um, behind putting all of this together and even moving forward. Which brings me to my final, final question. Ciao, no. Yes, this one is a good one. I, I know you're going to you're gonna love this one. And you've okay. kind of intimated okay. it uh, throughout. Mm. And I don't want you to leave. You know this. I know. Um, <laughs> how do you walk the fine line between sharing yourself outside of music and keeping the curtains closed on your personal life? You have alluded to it throughout our conversation but how do you yeah. walk that fine line because sometimes and you know with with each of them we're friends I'm, I'm like their sister and I, I see you know when you talk about being on social media people want more and more and more of you and in your case because you're 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 seated right in front of me uh, Chimano how do you walk this fine line hmm. so there's there's hmm. there's there's sharing yourself Chimano the yeah. the, 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 the ch- with the Chimandems and, and the yeah. whole Chiman kingdom yeah. because yeah. everybody wants a piece of you and keeping the curtains closed on your personal life. Mm. How do you, uh, in Savara voice, yeah. balance, yeah. balance, balance. <laughs> y- yeah, balance, but, um, yes, balance, balance, mm. balance, balance, balance. But, um, I think, I will without without calling it balance. It's mm-hmm. just that I, I I see myself as that person who will give what I am going to give now because um not to be fickle or anything. It's just people like you, not people like people need to see me to understand me to grow with me. But then I'm sure at some point when it becomes bigger than I can than I can handle. I will cherish my personal more than I will want to be out there. Yeah. Because I ideally, quite honestly, I see myself as, I don't know, in five, eight years, yeah, I'm not going to seek any sort of validation on like social media or whatever. Um, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just in the process of like, I feel like I'm starting out because I'm starting out as Shimano, so I am starting out. So I will do what needs to be done as a beginner artist in as much as I am still in Saudi. So, <laughs> you know, there's, there's, I guess there's that stepping stone. But do you know what? I think I, I, I cherish my sanity and my personal life so, so much such that uh, yeah at some point no it it won't the it curtains won't, will be drawn yeah it won't matter to me if I'm on if I'm on a social media platform or whatever because I'm just trying to get to a point where my art which is what I'm which is what I'm starting to do me trying to be this visual artist my aesthetic needs to be defined I'm defining my aesthetic once you know I need it to be out there people need to understand who it is that I am as an artist what it is that I want to do what it is that I represent and eventually now you know I wouldn't need to be totally out there so yes there's a balance in terms of how I look um, uh, how I look at how I look at it with my life yeah yeah in the next many so years I you know I've really enjoyed this conversation and I have to. <laughs> and, and I think it could go even longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I hope that even as you continue, I can have you back again with your permission. And Please. With your time. Um, I would love to. And, and, and even as you, 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 you continue with the tour, and, and I know that uh, we're going to be listening to, to the CP for a very long, 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 long time. And I want to thank you for sharing your art and your gifts and 
giving us your time to share Chimano with us because like you said everybody wants a piece of you and there's only so much you can give yeah. even being here is, is just a lot of gratitude to you Chimano and allowing us to understand ourselves better understanding that we all have crowns yeah and we don't need to seek validation from outside it's just no. confirmation I you really wear your crown and yeah. move and wear your crown and yeah. move on <laughs> and just move on yeah Heavy is the Crown is available everywhere on all digital streaming platforms. It is the first of many of <laughs> Chimana, from Chimana, who is embarking on his solo career as, while still being a part of Salty Soul. Please, please understand. It was alone together. And if you've listened to the show, I've had every single one of them. I've been so honored to have every single one of them coming in with their work. And we wrap it up with Chimano. So listen to every single bit of of art that has been that we are so lucky to have we're so you know i say this a lot but we are very <clears throat> grateful and very lucky to have salty soul in this country i i say this no i mean you're just like huh, Ciao. Really? No, I'm, to the- <laughs> I'm not flattering you i'm not i mean no, well I, I really I mean, no, we're are, here for a reason yeah, <laughs> you are the biggest <laughs> band and the greatest band in africa and i'm just so grateful for that and 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 you know even as we wrap it up i did tease uh, an acapella so Chimano being Chimano has selected what he's um, gonna do for us Lordy Lordy and we're gonna be so grateful remember to go to his socials check him out write to him on his socials Chimano's really good about responding as well <laughs> <laughs> like I just no now the- yeah now I just I just I'm just yeah, yeah. usaring usaring yeah, you left usaring. your Rihanna moment because I know Rihanna had that moment oh yes, yes yes yeah. yeah. you left your Rihanna era yeah uh, yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think at some point when people go back to my mm. um, responses, uh, yeah, I could be cancelled. So yeah, I'll just say, should I? <laughs> okay. So, so what do you what want me you, to do? Well, you have an acapella for us, and we take it away mm. as we wrap up the show. Thank you so much, Chimano. Mm. Beautiful day. Hmm. Funny how time flies, baby. You make me feel alright all day. Uh, Sunday morning vibe Phones are off and all we got is time all day Woo! Breakfast in bed, life is in chill Afternoon sex, we can stay out of sight, baby mm. Doesn't matter what we do as long as I'm with you. Uh, this love affair has me weak in my knees and I can't catch my breath though I'm so pleased. My groove and your flow go together like sun and sky. As our love grows, I'm more at ease. It's a beautiful day every morning when I look at you. Beautiful day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a beautiful day, newly dawning, lying next to you. Love affair. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy is a crowd available everywhere. Thank you so much, Chimano. We love you. Ciao. I love you so much. Thank you for having me. My sister forever. I love you. 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 Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Heavy is that crown. Yes. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>